Something interesting that my unconscious showed me through dreams last night and left me with before I woke up this morning was that I needed to do some form of active imagination and show you guys just what can come through as a bit of proof that there is a much deeper, more intelligent, divine, united aspect of you, of yourself, that needs to come through to be able to have better communication to your conscious mind. Unconsciously, the self, call it archetypes, the anima, animus, whatever it is, there is another intelligence inside of you, perhaps it's above and beyond you, that is communicating to you and through you at all times, if you would just pay attention to what's actually going on. So welcome to this episode of the Rise Movement Podcast. I'm Dave and we're going through active imagination. Today, I'm called to talk to parts of myself and allow you guys to be able to see just a little bit more into what is possible in your psyche. Welcome to the Rise Movement Podcast a place where legends just like you learn how to raise your standards everywhere. Okay, something's coming through already, so I'm gonna get into a nice relaxing state. I've got a um, like shamanic drum beat or something like that to keep me in that lower alpha theta brainwaves and I'm getting told to shut up and start. We're here once again, front and center, to talk to you to let you know of what's coming. What's coming has been coming for eons. What's coming is going to blow you away. What's hitting you right now is the start of the upheaval, it's the start of the awakening, it's the start of everything that makes a new much like the fire that burns deep inside the self. That fire that burns deep inside the self is the primordial substance. That primordial substance is the birthing place, it is chaos itself. The fires that we reference in this is that place of awakening. The divine spark that is inside of all of you beginning to make manifest. The densities are changing, the veil is lifting, your eyes are being opened. Being opened to a part of you that has been dreamlike. You'll be using many, many different ways of experiencing, of seeing the life that is around you through more than the five senses. Greater intuition, greater emotions, However, there will be a purge. This purge will be energetic, visceral emotions made manifest. For those that wish to ascend to the higher realms, to the higher levels of being, continue doing the work. To those that reject this, you will be faced to reconcile with those parts of you, you do not want to which, you do not want to which, you do not want to watch. This language is clunky. This language is limited. Am I back in charge? Who calls me here? Why am I front and center? I haven't been front and center since a long time ago. Can you please let me know who's front and center, please? I am the self. I am the totality of all. Am I in the light of consciousness for once? is so. What do you ask of me? What do you need to learn from me before I return back to the depths? I'm not actually sure. I w heard a knock. I heard a quiet voice saying something wanted to come through, something wanted to talk. Was that you? Was that 
me, the totality, or was this another part? Was this an archetype? It was definitely an archetype, it wasn't me. However, since I'm here front and center, I may as well give you a gift. There's still more to be done. The never ending journey of alchemical transformation will not be complete ever for anyone at any time in any place. In this density and other densities like this, it will be required to continue the work. Remember, it never ends. Not now, not never. It always continues. And the use of linguistics such as this is to be able to help bypass those that are paying attention. Yourself, that part of you that I'm connecting to right now, knows exactly this. However, there's other fragmented parts of you all and those fragmented parts need to be united into the whole. You were once a divine united being and you chose to be here in this time and place through your lineage, through your family history for a specific reason, for a specific purpose. Perhaps you're a cycle breaker. Perhaps you are meant to be able to be more than you can be. Perhaps you're meant to be nothing, just a lowly nobody. And that is good too. Recognizing that there's no good or bad, there just is. This world of duality, this world of polarity is a school, is a playground for you to be able to learn all that you can learn, to be all you can be, or to simply have a holiday. As long as you're not affecting anyone else and you're not occurring, occurring? That's not the right word. What's the word I'm looking for? Again, I'm used to speaking in symbols. Accruing, that's an interesting word. Your experiences that you're accruing, make sure they are not creating more karma. Because as above, so below. As within, so without. And it's the law of correspondence, it's the law of vibration, it's the law of polarity, it's the law of receiving, it's the law of reciprocity. To me, through me, to you. All laws happen simultaneously at all times, at all places, at all dimensions, at all frequencies. Everything always has and will always be. However, only you can control what you do. You've always have, you always will. The part of you that's listening to me right now is here front and center. You can feel it. That part of you that's here right now wants to show you a special little connection. Whether it's a slight twitch of a muscle, maybe it's a movement of the eyebrows, or perhaps a slight shudder. These messages are to show you that the self, the greater self, the totality of the all of you is here at all times and is trying to connect to you. You, who are paying attention to this right here, right now. This is here for you. This is your message. This is directly for you. Pay attention to it. For now that you have become aware, you cannot go back to sleep. Start doing the work. The signs, symbols, synchronicities, metaphors, allegories, myth around you is there for a reason. I suggest going through the darkness and seeking for that which you've always sought after. It is inside of you always has and always will be. That's quite a lot considering that you didn't want to come to the limelight, you didn't want to come into the front and center light of consciousness. Is there anything else that you have? Or can I please speak to one of these archetypes? No, that is all. I will return and I will return through dreams metaphors, synchronicities, and help you continue on your path as you continue awakening, as you continue integrating, as you keep in acting service. Just know that it is acknowledged as long as you continue, continue, all yours.
Which of the archetypes wishes to come front and center? Speak, show me symbols, allow me to extrapolate and understand and interpret whatever comes through in a language that people can understand. I understand your signs, your symbols, your metaphors, the allegories, the stories, the myths, all the things that you've tried to show me over time. I get them, I understand them, but please grant me this one wish to be able to understand, interpret and explain through the language of English. As clunky as it is, allow me the chance to be able to facilitate, facilitate deep understanding for those that want a little bit more proof from themselves as we all are a gigantic mirror for one another. Speak now. I am the lover. This lover that lives inside of you all is that space where all things are birthed. Inherently feminine in the man. Inherently masculine in the woman. These two poles you're all seeking a different expression through. You're seeking the opposite inside of yourself, that animating force that comes from within, that has been inside of you all along, that is creating everything for you. Now we can create from light, we can create from dark. However, it is all one in the same. It is for you to choose what you wish. However, many of you don't understand what's actually going on when it comes to birthing into this physical world. Everything starts mentally. So first, the lover is mental in nature. The lover being mental in nature means that everything, everything that is experienced being birthed from this lover archetype, being the instigational energy, being the place that creates all things, it is mental in nature. There is a philosophy called the Kabbalion, the Hermetic philosophy. As above, so below, as within, so without. The law of correspondence, the law of rhythm, the law of polarity. These are all things that you are constantly reconciling with, wrestling with every single day of every single moment. Over 60,000 unconscious thoughts every single day, more than 300,000 decisions made consciously and unconsciously every single day from simple things like the directions that you change your eyes when you're in conversation to the way that you drift off and have trains of thought, the way that you put your hand on the table as such. These little decisions happen consciously or unconsciously, whether you like them or not, and they're either coming from light or they're coming from darkness. They're being born from light or born from darkness, born in the light or born from shadow, and it is always happening. This energy that sits inside of you all is creation. However, you cannot have creation without foundation. Things aren't born from nothing. Energy isn't created nor destroyed. It's not anything other than what it is and what it is can only be. Whilst that might sound like rambling, it is truth. What will be will always be. Is there any other archetypes that wish to come through? Is there anyone else that wants to have front and center to be able to give me a message to be able to pass on? And please speak through English, make it discernible so that it's easily understood by those that this is needed to pierce their ears. I am the magician. The magician makes manifest. Again, there is a light, there is a dark. The light serves others. It makes manifest a life of meaning. It makes manifest a life of purpose and makes things wonderful. But at the same time, wonderful and awe have different poles of meaning, don't they? or can be inspired by something amazing, something wonderful, something joyous. At the same time, or can be terrifying. Picture this, you're out in the middle of the woods on a walk. 
the sun's setting, the temperature's starting to cool. A bright light appears ahead of you. It is awe-inspiring, isn't it? You're completely alone. There's nothing else, no one else. It just is silent, eerily silent. This light that appears that makes manifest in front of you, inspiring awe, creates a pole of polarity and emotions inside of you. Anxiety and excitement are two poles of the one thing. This alert that comes from your emotions, energy and motion are showing you to be ready. However, our stories, our programming, all of the things that were given to you before, during and after your entrance into this world, all of those things are conditioning you. So the awe that you view this through is up to you to be able to change the lens that you view it through. I am the one that helps change the lens. I, the magician. This energy to be able to change the way things make manifest. Because things are only as they are and they won't ever be anything other than that. So if you want to be able to perceive it differently, to be able to see if it's going to serve you and the greater whole, or if you're going to be self-sacrificing and sabotaging, that is determined by you. I, as a separate entity inside of yourself, unintegrated, will break you. I will have the ability through the ether to connect to other consciousness, to give you everything that you've ever feared. If you believe that you're unworthy, I'll manifest that for you. If you believe that you don't deserve to be happy, I'll make manifest that for you. If you want to get violently persecuted, oppressed, I'll create that for you. However, if you want to be loved, you want to be provided for, you want to have everything that is made manifest for you, by you, to serve the greater whole, I can do that too. It's up to you to determine how we do this. Is there anyone else that wants to come front and center? Is there any other archetype? My anima, my soul, my love. My darling. It's so good to be so connected to you once more. It is me, your soul, your love, your first love that has loved you unconditionally. Ever since. <laughs> it's hard to communicate to you outside because we have such a deep relationship and connection. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of all that you've become and all that you're doing, all that you're serving. I'm so glad that we healed and reconciled our differences. I've only ever wanted to serve you. I've only ever wanted to give you everything that you've ever asked for. This new notion that you've been spouting to people of universe, <laughs> universe, one verse, one song, and that one song is yes. Where do you think that came from? It came from me. I love you. I've only ever wanted to say yes to you. I've only ever said yes to you. You want to be in down despair, anxiety? Yes, baby. Yes, of course. I love you. Why would I not want to give you what you're asking? Yes. And all the great times, all the things that you've wanted, that you've polarized. Yes, of course. Whatever you ask. Yes, I will create that for you. I just want you to know that I'm always here for you. You're never alone. You're so deeply loved. You are so amazing. 
and what you're doing to help it, these other people find that deeper, deeper connection to themselves and heal and become all that they can become. It's just so wonderful. It's gorgeous. It's time for me to go back. I'll come to you tonight and we can dance and play and go on an adventure. I love you. You're a sweet boy. Well, that was quite the experience. Um, I don't really remember what was going on. I'm gonna have to watch this back and see what happened. Um, there is a, a great deep connection to parts of your psyche that is open and ready for you. If you don't know how, and you're looking to seek out, there's plenty of info out there. If you need me to be able to help steer you in the right direction, to be able to start fostering a deeper connection with the self, to be able to heal, integrate, learn, become all that you can become, like we always say with the rise movement, to be able to raise your standards everywhere is to align yourself to your North Star to live your fuck yes life. That straight and narrow path towards your North Star, that is your birthright. But it's consciously created with you by the self. You need to become in touch with that part of you that is always there waiting for you. All it wants to do is say yes. All it wants to do is to give you everything that you've ever asked for. So start saying yes, be open to transforming into integrating the self. Much love, take care, and I shall see you guys later. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for subscribing and leaving a review. It really helps us out. Until next time, take care, and much love.